Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Caterade5, and today I'm back with a five minute review where we look at a fan game in under five minutes. As always, remember that this is my completely subjective opinion. Let's get to it. Today, we're looking at Pokemon Kaizen by Swaggy here, Nova12, and Peter Parker444. Pokemon Kaizen puts the player in a Jujutsu Kaizen inspired Pokemon world where the player is assigned to work with Nick, Kaori, Teiji, and Professor Oak to eliminate a special grade curse that's appeared in a remote part of the Kanto region. Overall, Kaizen is an impressively long game for a game jam, but is mostly otherwise unpolished due to a few key issues. I hate to start off on the negative, but I think the most disappointing aspect for this game specifically is the lack of running shoes. Part of it's that you can just copy and paste the walking sprite and set it as the running sprite and I don't think anybody would mind. Combine this with an oddly high encounter rate and a rather steep level curve and I'm spending way too much of my time in this game walking back to heal. There were points where I think that the balancing got a little too crazy but I still think just adding the experience all would have been perfect here. This also would have allowed for Pokemon to be added to the player's team more easily. Despite this negative start, there are some aspects of the game that are high quality. As I said in the intro, the most impressive aspect of this game by far is the length of it. To be able to make what's probably a 5-6 to six hour game in 6 weeks is crazy, and I don't think I even experienced all the game had to offer. On top of that, almost all the music used in this game was excellent. I was jamming to every non-essentials theme included and each theme seemed to fit its situation well. Something that I'm not sure how positive I want to be on is the mapping. I feel like there's some good maps in here, but there's also a lot of inexperience that's easy to see. The absence of priority passability on trees and other tiles and the excess of dark maps are the two that come to mind as examples of inexperience. But on the other hand, I think the maps were pretty clean overall. It definitely helps to use ECAT tiles to complement the otherwise unchanged default essentials tile set. Going off of that, I thought the graphics for this game were good, and I thought that the custom overworlds were good as well. Finally, a look at the story and writing. And if I were to describe this aspect of Kaizen in one word, I think I'd use frustrating. As many of you know, I enjoy dissecting the stories of these games as much as 5 minutes allows me to, so it frustrates me when I don't understand the story of a game enough to dissect it to the level that I would like to, which is the case here with Kaizen. As I said in the intro, this game is based on the anime Jujutsu Kaizen, which I want to make clear is not my problem with the story. My problem is that the world is explained poorly which leads me to not understand the story as it unfolds. Like, I can tell there's a cohesive story in there, but because of my lack of understanding of the world, I wasn't able to notice it. All information on the world is behind optional text in the intro and cannot be accessed after. So I feel like if the game were to gradually explain its world throughout the intro, that would have made it easier to understand. I specifically struggled with the ending, but without understanding the world at a higher level, and without understanding the danger of things like special grade curses, I feel like I can't fully understand it. The last aspect of the writing that I'd like to mention is the immaturity in a few lines that left a bad taste in my mouth. I do have a problem with one of the characters saying, quote, I killed your dad. In the context of the game, it just feels immature treating such a serious topic like that. Ultimately, this game is impressive for a jam game. However, it lacks in some respects that really stand out to me. I really want to see Swaggy here and crew improve because I can tell they're skilled and they really care about this game and future games that they'll work on, and I wish them the best of luck in the future. As always, make sure to mock punch that like button and of course subscribe if you have not. But I think that's it for today. This is Caterade5 signing out. Thanks for watching everybody and have yourselves a good day.